Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these really cute, tiny little beaded berries or raspberries, I guess. So, they look like this. They're really, really, really tiny. So cute. So, I think. This is the colour that I like the best. And that bead is actually called Raspberry and it's by Miyuki. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So to make one of these raspberries you're going to need the colour that you want your berry to be. I'm going to be showing you using this colour and they need to be size 11 or size 8. I'm going to be showing you using size 11 today and this is opaque hydrangea. I'm showing you with an opaque bead because it's a bit easier to see on the camera. And then you'll need a second colour in the same size in green. The little stalk at the top. And this is Picasso opaque chartreuse. You will also need your thread, your beading needle, and then if you want to attach it to any jump rings or anything, if you want to turn them into earrings, you'll need those kind of things as well. But I'm just going to show you how to make a little berry on its own like this. Let's get started. Okay, so I've cut just over 16 inches, that's 16 inches of thread. And that's going to be plenty to make one of these tiny little berries. It really doesn't take much thread at all. And the first thing you need to do is pick up three of your berry colour and you're going to slide those down, just leaving a few inches at the end and then sew back up through the first one. So you have this triangle. And now we're going to put one bead in between those three. So pick up one coming out of this one, you're going to go straight into that next one in the triangle. So it sits there between the two. Pick up your next one, you're coming out of this one now, you're going to go into that next bead in the triangle. And picking up the last one of this row, coming out of this one, so you're going to go into that last one like that. So now you've got this, it's a bit bigger triangle now. And we're coming out of this one, but we need to move up into that one there above it. So we're on the outer row. This time we're going to pick up two beads each time and we're just working with these outermost corner beads that we added in the row below. So pick up your first two and you're coming out of this one on the corner, skip that one in the middle and go through the next one on the corner. Pick up your next two, coming out of this one, skip the one underneath and go through the next one on the corner. And your last two, pick up two more. So we're coming out of this one. Let's skip that one underneath and go through the next one. Like that. Pull it tight and now they should sort of bunch up a little bit. Now you're going to step up into the next two that we just added in the row below. Okay, now you're in position to start your next row. So this time we're going to increase so that we're working with six beads in the row above. So we're going to put one bead in between those groups of two that we just added, in the spaces between them. And we're also going to put a single bead right in the middle of those groups of twos as well, if that makes sense. So pick up your first bead. And right now I'm coming out of one of those groups of two. I'm going to skip over that one underneath. 
go through the next single bead. Don't go through both of those two, just through the first one. Like that. Now pick up another one. Now you're between that group of two there. You're coming out of this one, you're going to go straight into that next one. Like that. And that bead will pop in between them. There you go. Okay. Now we're coming out here and we're going to skip over that one. Pick up another bead, skip over that one and go through the next bead there. So again we're between that group of two. So you're going to pick up a bead. Coming out of this one, go straight into that one next to it. So the bead pops right between them. Then you're going to pick up your next bead. Now I'm coming out here, so I'm going to skip that one underneath and go through the next one. Like that. Now this is the last bead. So we're between this group of two here. So I'm coming out of this one, I'm going to go straight into that one next to it. And then give it a good pull tight. Now we're coming out here and we need to step up into this bead that's diagonally above us. That way we've got a gap now so we can carry on adding our next row. So now, I don't know if you can see, but we're working with one, two, three, four, five, six beads now instead of three. So those six beads that I just mentioned that are now the top row, we're just going to be putting one single bead in between each of those. So just picking up one bead at a time and doing that six times. So you're coming out of this one, skip the one underneath, go through the next one. Pick up another bead, coming out of this one now, skip that one underneath and go through the next one. Third bead, coming out here, skip that one underneath and go through the next one. Pick up another bead, skip the one underneath and go through the next one. Pick up another bead, now we're coming out here, skip the one underneath, go through the next one. And don't forget, if you get lose track of where you are, you can count how many beads you need for each row, so you know that you're working with six beads, you're going to be adding six beads in this particular row. So you could count aside six beads and once you've used all of those, you know you're at the end of the row, if that makes sense. Uh, but we're going to add the last one. So pick up one more, coming out of this one, same again, you're just going to skip that one underneath and go through the next one, and through the one above as well. So we're ready to start the next row. So you're going to go through those two like that. And pull it tight. We should have this. Okay, so now we, again we've just got six beads that are on the top row and we're going to do exactly the same thing again, we're putting one bead in between each of those. So pick up one, skip over one, go through the next one in the top row. Pick up one, skip over the one underneath and go through the next one. Pick up one, skip the one underneath, go through the next one. Pick up one, skip the one underneath and go through the next one. Pick up one, skip the one underneath, go through the next one. And last one, pick up one, skip the one underneath and go through the next one and the one above. So you've stepped up to start your next row. Put it tight as always. Now we've got this. And now we're going to do another row exactly the same. So you're just adding one bead in between those six on the top row. So go ahead and go all the way around this next one. Don't forget when you get to the last bead in the row to step up into that next bead above. So now we should have this. And we're going to do one final row where we do that same thing again. 
So do one more row where you're putting one bead in between each of those six. And as always, don't forget to step up into the bead above when you get to the end of the row and pull it tight. Now we've got this. Now we're going to switch to our green beads. Okay, so now we're going to switch to our green beads and we're going to decrease it back down from a row of six beads to a row of three. So you're going to pick up one green and you're coming out of this one. Skip over the one underneath, go through the next one, and the one after that without picking up another bead. So do you see what I've done there? So, I'm just coming out of this one, I've gone through the next one on the top row, and then through the one after that as well, without picking up a bead, and see where my needle is. That's where there's going to be a little bridge of thread and when you pull it tight those two beads are going to close together. And then you can do that again. Pick up another green bead. Now we're coming out of this one. I'm going to go through the next one on the top row and the one after that as well. So the next two on the top row. It's probably easier to say. Pick up your last green bead this row. Going out of this one, you're going to go through the next one on the top row and the one after that, which should be this one, which is right underneath that first green. Then pull it tight and those little bridges of thread there sort of almost disappear and those two beads come together and that brings it back down to a row of three. So we're going to step up into that green bead now. Now we've got this. Now we're going to pick up a green, coming out of this green you're going to go into the next green one, pick up another green, coming out of this one you're going to go into the next green one and finally pick up your last green bead this row, coming out of this one go into the last green one there and then into that next green bead. Now you're going to go through those last three that we just added which are right in the middle I'm going to go through them all a couple of times just to bring them together. Pull it all tight. Now we have this. Now that's it finished essentially. I'm just going to show you how to add this little extra bead on the top if you want, which makes it easy then to add um, a jump ring or to attach it to a bracelet or to string it if you want to. So I'm going to show you that now. So pick up a green bead and you're coming out of any one of these in the top centre triangle. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm going to go through this one underneath it in the same direction, like that. So my thread's coming out of this one in that direction. So I'm going to go through this one in that direction. Then you're going to go back through the bead on the top that we just added into another one of those beads in that triangle, doesn't matter which one, back up into the bead on the top, back into one of those beads in the triangle and just keep going through it like that until it feels like it's attached to all three of those beads in that top triangle. And that's it, now all you need to do is tie off, tie some knots and cut off your threads and then we're finished. Okay, so that's the finished little berry or raspberry. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to make one of these really cute, really tiny little berries. Um, share any pictures with me on Instagram if you do make them at Beading by Hannah. Follow me there and subscribe to my channel here to see more of my videos. And comment down below what else you'd like to see. And like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.